गुड इवनिंग राघव कैसे हो गुड इवनिंग सर अच्छा हूँ सर कंग्रेचुलेशन राघव गुड इवनिंग सर थैंक यू सर so yes, how does it feel first of all to get this amazing rank sir it feels amazing i'm well, very happy we know your rank let's uh, let's show to everybody else please introduce yourself tell your rank which college you did ug from yes sir so uh, i am raghav gupta i did my ug from molana azad medical college and i got a rank of 11 in ini exam great so um before we start our discussing anybody you would like to thank so so um, i would like to thank uh, first of all i would like to thank god because without his blessings nothing is possible and i would like to thank my parents they have supported me throughout this year and my sister and uh, the entire faculty of dbmi uh, they uh, right from uh, the start of the pandemic the way they shifted it to the online platform it all has helped me in my preparation so i'm very grateful to the faculty Okay, so you've uh, you've been a foundation batch student with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So almost three years you've been with us then. Yes, sir. So it's a long journey, <laughs> three years. Great. Yes. So um, huge congratulations to you once again. And I think uh, among eighty thousand plus students that I think have given the exam this time, to get this kind of a rank itself, uh, it speaks for itself. So the important thing is that when somebody sees this interview, we need to give them some kind of message. something that will help them in their preparation um so that's the keeping that goal in perspective let's uh, discuss about your preparation so when did you really start preparing for uh, post graduate entrance um so so the um like i started preparing with full dedication this year from the start of this year before this i was not very dedicated like um i was just uh, gathering my notes um learning learning new things learning things i would uh, that would help me in practice but uh, not so dedicated towards the entrance examination okay so when did you actually start preparing you were you were doing your uh, routine stuff but uh, when did you actually when did you finish your internship so last year december last year december i can how was your rank last year um, sir in need 20000 20000 so that means uh, i think that's going to um, you know motivate a lot of people who have got not so good ranks that from 20000 people can get into 11th rank so that uh, really is an amazing thing uh, what are the other exams you get you wrote and how were your ranks in them um so sir in um, november 2019 aims i got a uh, rank of uh, around 4000 and in uh, june aims i got 144 okay and this year now i am in a constant improvement isn't it 20000 4000 then you have come down significantly now so i think it's really amazing um so in your preparation um so you you joined us in foundation like how was your uh, foundation preparation did you attend uh, the foundation course seriously and um, i think you attended our online classes also this year yes sir so i'd like a feedback of both like in the sense uh, first of all in comparison how do you find the online classes compared to the face to face classes Mm. So, so uh, the the I find the online classes uh, better only uh, because of the convenience, uh, convenient convenience factor that we can attend them whenever we want, and um, like uh, even even at night, like we feel when I feel like uh, I I don't want to read the theory, so I can watch the videos at that time. so i find that factor better but uh, both ha- have their own merits and merits okay. more type of classes so but did you attend our dbmc live sessions yes sir so i did attend okay mm. right uh, yes sir yeah. so the uh, live sessions are uh, the they get they give you an added benefit that you can ask the doubts live from the from the faculty and uh, that really helps So throughout the year you were just studying or you were working also? No sir, only studying. Only studying. And how was your typical week? Because we, I think you were there with our in our classes this year, um, and you you would attend our classes, and I think classes would practically go on more, most of the days, isn't it? Because of the live sessions. So how would you divide your time in the day, and how are you reading? Yes sir. So. Um, like in the initial part of the preparation i was uh, building my content i already had all all the notes of the subjects but i still i found more things that i could add to them so uh, like the 
some some new material uh, some new uh, new facts new concepts that i found so i add, i made a separate notebook for them I, for each subject um, like one the all the notes of those subjects and uh, some additional topics uh, which i found in the live classes so i was just building the content during the initial part um, so uh, during the later part of my preparation my day would be like i would be uh, re reading some Uh, some volatile topics for the uh, initial hours of the morning when i'm fresh and then in the later hours of i would watch videos and the live sessions and okay. uh, at night i would try to practice some mcqs so i tried to follow this uh, okay so um in through the time when the class were going on and in the revision phase how were you giving your grand tests like how many grand tests were you giving when the class were going on and then once the class got over uh, how did you plan your revision um so when the classes were going on i gave um like once monthly a grand test okay and uh, after the classes ended i gave uh, two to three two to three tests per month okay. two to three grand tests yes, okay sir. and and how was your uh, performance in them how were you doing um so initially so it was very bad initially okay. i was uh, scoring very low and it it was um, uh, like a uh, it was a bit demotivating but uh, at the same time i uh, told myself that i have to improve a lot and uh, I, i always have to aim for getting better with time and so uh, th these grand tests the scores of these grand tests uh, kind of kept me in focus uh, of my, uh, they kept me uh, uh, they prevented me from getting distracted and uh, okay. i yes i constantly try to improve my score during the throughout this year so uh, they were helpful like in keeping me in focus okay so typically names uh, the images form an important component uh, how do you handle the image based questions how do you prepare for them um yes sir so so um like many images to we are taught in the class itself uh, that faculty shows us the important ones uh, on in the important subjects like pathology or micro where the images are more important they shows at the time of classes only and uh, uh, later i had joined the vibe session uh, and so i got my like i had a booklet which was full of the high yield images so um, that was my uh, main source uh, for the images and rest are in grand test we keep on getting uh, some important images and we practice them so okay how useful do you think that vibe uh, book is sir by book is uh, sir i found it particularly useful for certain topics like you have covered ecg exceptionally well in the vibe so uh, like we i had attended our classes in third year but uh, we forget those concepts even though we had written them in the on our notes but we need the revision so why was a very good revision for the ecg part like likewise in other subjects also in ophtha and in anatomy the important images so i found it really high yielding and uh, 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 full of concepts okay how do you plan your revision and how do you pace it Hmm. So my revision was uh, based on my grand test only. Like in the later part, I I would give, I would either give grand test or if I will find that uh, some subject I'm very weak, I'm getting very low score, I would uh, give the subject wise TND of that test and uh, watch the video of the uh, on the eGuru Google app the solution uh, video solution of the, uh, the T, that subject TND and um, in the next test I would evaluate that if I have scored better than the last. grand test on that subject so that is why i just targeted my weak subjects uh, on the basis of my right. grand test and uh, were you using your class notes as revision or uh, you were just focusing more on the videos yes sir i was using my class notes but uh, some things uh, sometimes uh, when i found that uh, uh, some subjects like uh, some updates have uh, have been released so Uh, i thought that i should watch the video also i would gain some extra points apart from my notes and i would add them in my notes then so for th those subjects i watched the videos also but mainly it was uh, from the notes class notes Great. so i think dr nachiket is uh, going to join us anything you'd like to ask sir i think you have actually uh, covered everything and i think raghav has actually given some very crucial points i was just talking to the students in the pre group also and i think the best part that you have uh, properly emphasized is on that they should give a uh, grand test and they should not miss the grand test because when they don't practice during their uh, these times they, they are not able to you know score well in the main exams i think raghav again a very uh, crucial and uh, i think uh, one question that i'm going to put on the table that was 
e gurukul also helpful in your preparation because i believe yes. that once you tell me what things can be needed what things that i can improve in the e gurukul the future generation the next gen doctors i can also actually improve my app and then we can actually work together for providing better stuff to our students okay um so uh, it was very useful firstly e gurukul um because uh, sir it has sir, as i told earlier also the convenience factor is the best thing and uh, the uh, the content the content is amazing all the faculty is amazing so uh, all i i was i was in love with the tnd videos particularly the subject wise tnds and the e gurukul tnd so those those videos i found very helpful because they were they were like um, some uh, different uh, they were released at different times like one tnd series was released in the initial part of the year and one was released after the mid year exams so after the mid year exams the faculty had incorporated some new concepts which were asked in that mid year so uh, the content was constantly up- updated in the in those videos and uh, in the later part uh, uh, the faculty came up with the rapid uh, rapid revision videos uh, last minute revision videos so uh, those uh, i used them for the subjects which i was very weak in i thought that my score is uh, c- uh, coming constantly low in those subjects like ophthalmology i was always weak in ophtha so i watched mams all the videos of the, of the last minute revision and it helped me improve a lot uh, in that subject so this teacher um and sir um on the uh, sir improvement like uh, the content is uh, amazing but um, maybe some uh, kind of improvement can be made in the user interface right oh, uh, true true one thing i think that the app, when we hide the app it uh, closes maybe that can, that can be improved um so i can think about it and then tell you uh, all the rest of the points i will so, i will actually give you a call for feedback where you can you know give all the all the feedback that you have and mm-hmm. we are going to make the app better for the upcoming uh, mm-hmm. students that's for yes, sure sir. So, Raga, before you went in for the AIMS exam, uh, how many times do you think you would have read the class notes? How many revisions? Hmm. Before the so before the mid-year AIMS or yeah, the mid-year AIMS and the November AIMS. Okay. So the uh, before the mid-year AIMS, I had read notes. Uh, I guess three times. Uh, so not, so I didn't. Uh, when the first time we always read the cover to cover. in the second time also almost cover to cover but the third time only the high yield things like i skipped some of the things which i thought that aims, aims does not ask these things uh, in that way in the later part also uh, i did four or five more readings but again of the selected topics only not all the topics okay yes sir right um so before going for exam what subjects you thought you were uh, most weak in mm so most weak uh anatomy and uh, anatomy surgery right and uh, <laughs> right. and of the of the so in the exam what subjects you thought were um, were most important to get you this rank mm, in the exam sir i think uh, medicine and uh, pathology and pharmacology right how many questions did you take Okay, how many questions did you attempt? Sir, I left six questions. One ninety four. One ninety four, and you were had no problems with the timing. No, sir, I didn't have any problem with the timing. I, actually, I had planned that I would read the full paper again, but I could read half the questions again. Right. So, mm-hmm. so I think your preparation has been extensive. You started uh, in your undergraduate, you you made your notes in the UG period. You utilized those notes very nicely, uh, and I think you were able to revise those notes before the mid aims as well as now. so i think that overall uh, has really worked in your favor and um, the multiple revisions i think should have definitely um, led to this kind of rank um so basically as i told you the whole purpose of the video is ki we have to give some secret out to the student that you utilized that was special in you that helped you get this rank so something from you the student should benefit isn't it those who are watching this what do you think that would be what message would you like to give to your juniors hmm so so the most important thing is the mentality like if you are going for an exam you have to go with the mentality that you will top that exam even if you feel your preparation is inadequate then also you have to think in your mind that you are going to top this exam and if you keep on thinking this for like one month till one from one month before the exam you think it 
each and every day it will help you uh, like your preparation would also improve you will try to push yourself if you think in this way and uh, i think that has helped me wonderful i think that's really a very very wonderful message you are giving to your juniors always think no, that think that you want to nice. exam and eventually you start believing it and you start working for it yes. so how many hours were you studying in a day um so sir i tried sir i tried to study all all the time i was not eating or sleeping <laughs> rest of the time i tried um but some days i was distracted like some days uh, we are sometimes we um, feel low and we don't want to study so in those days for 3 4 hours but most of the days it was uh, 11 12 hours wonderful wonderful so despite the pandemic despite all these problems uh, you were able to focus so much and do that, this kind of preparation really wonderful very nice talking to you raghav i am sure dr nachiket want would want to ask something else yeah, i think so the mindset of champion that line actually uh, resonates everywhere you think like a champion you work like a champion only then you can become a champion so i think raga with this line you can actually uh, say that you have passed on the best message to our students and uh, you have to be mentally very very sound to score such an amazing rank in these kind of competitive exams where the cutthroat competition you have a single weak moment and you are out of the top 100 so that, that is a level of intelligence that's a level of hard work these people have in that cutthroat competition so i think raga you have given us everything and i do believe that the universe blessings in self is a very big deal so yes, with his blessings i i am sure that you are going to rise very well in life and all the best for your future endeavors and that's you, us from team dbmci i wish you all the best and again a very happy life ahead thank you so and much sir you need ever you need us yes, the sir. whole team is there yes sir, thank sir. You, so much, you all have been there always yes sir definitely yes, so with Yes, sir. So without team D- DBMC, like definitely without the support of our faculty, we see you people working very hard all the time and uh, coming up with new content and providing your best to the students. So d- it definitely motivates us also. And uh, uh, like we know that some people are working for us, and we also want to give our best uh, for our faculty. So uh, without the faculty, uh, we, uh, the students can't achieve anything, sir. i think the team this time dbmc has really poured their heart out in the in the yes, pandemic sir. times each and every faculty i think they have gone out of the way um, you know to make sure that the best content is delivered and uh, i think they yes, have sir. done a very good job so all thanks to the team dbmc i to dr Nach- dr nachiket dr rajat um, uh, all the faculties and i think obviously your effort is definitely there in that so my regards to your parents um, we are all proud of you and i'm sure you're going to do uh, great in your future life as well so really nice talking to you raghav and uh, best so wishes to you sir. good luck thank you sir thank you sir great raghav thank you thank you bye thank you sir bye bye thank you sir thank you bye